It's at the time of the song of farewell. Okay. It's, so she's just right. Yeah, I got it. He might if he announces there's a celebration of life afterwards, I won't say anything. Okay. Being later date. Got it. Oh, we were just getting our dust. It doesn't change. Anything.
Good morning, everyone. This beautiful morning with sadness in our hearts at our loss. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God's peace, God's comfort be with you all. My brothers and sisters, we gather together this morning in pain. I love that, you know, whenever uh, I celebrate a funeral, I always try to bring a, a, my, own, my own freshness to it. Uh, I like to think that when we walk in the church and we walk out, we are different than we walked in. Uh, and, and so sometimes you hear the words of a, of a gospel, or the readings today, if you hear those words, uh, some, you know, they're words often repeated at funerals, and, but there's a kind of freshness. And so uh, what that line that you guys just played, uh, Melissa and Mary-Kate, I have borne my people's pain. Is it, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Uh, the, uh, uh, you know, we, we chatted briefly about Robin. Uh, she had a great struggle with her with the last few months. I, and I think, I'm, you know, I've sung those words a thousand times, a million times. But you know, really, this kind of this hit, hit me today in a special way. So uh, I have borne my people's pain so that the Lord uh, helped her shoulder that burden, we hope. So let us take a moment to center our hearts. We bless the body. We bless the remains, the, the mortal remains of this wonderful lady with the holy water that recalls the day of her baptism. St. Paul writes that when we're baptized, we enter into the death of Christ so that we may rise with him to newness of life. And so we pray that, that Robin would enter into God's life through her own baptism. And we're comforted, often in life, and clothed. So sometimes they're, so we, we have a little little thing to put on her to recall her baptism where all the scriptures many times were uh, 
we're clothed with faith, we're clothed with hope, we're clothed. Um, and she made clothes, she crocheted, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so we, I'm sorry we don't have a crocheted one, darn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so her artistic, her artistic genius, so that uh, may she be clothed with the embrace of God. Let, it, let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead. The first fruits of all those who have fallen asleep grant that through this mystery your servant, Robin, who has gone to her rest in Christ, may share in his resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading, which will be read by C.J., her nephew. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for every affair under the heavens, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit have workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to mortals to be busied about. God has made everything appropriate to its time, but has put the timeless into their hearts so they cannot find out from beginning to end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Tom will read us the second reading. The 
This morning's second reading is from the second letter of St. Paul to to Timothy. As for me, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge will give me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Thanks, Tom. Please stand for the Holy Gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. People were bringing their little children to Jesus so that Jesus could touch them. The disciples scolded them for this, and Jesus turned to them and said, Let the little children come to me and do not hold them back, for it is to just such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. For I assure you that whoever does not accept the kingdom of heaven like a little child, will never enter into it. And then Jesus took the children himself, and he embraced them, and he blessed them, and he placed his hands upon them. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated a moment. So I figure you didn't choose a gospel, so I chose that one. I, uh, I was talking to Deidre the other day, and I said, did she have any children? She well, didn't have any children, but she had a lot of children, you know, a lot of children. Uh, it's like, I feel, I feel the same way, Matt. I don't have any children, but I think I have a lot of so, so I just met a few this morning, so wonderful. Uh, and, and Jesus, so this was a very bright woman, a very bright woman. I, I must tell you, as I said, you know, whenever I do a funeral, I, I try, to, try to be fresh. And, and uh, you know what I never heard before in this church? The air conditioning, the heating. She, 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 she's got me by the neck here, I think. She, I mean, it's just, I never heard it, I never paid any attention, but now because of HVAC, I always think that's a great acronym. Uh, and she was a designer of, a designer of these, this thing on the roof. These, these number, there's a number on the roof, a number of them up there. And now I, I was at a seminar this week Appropriately, I've never been to a webinar in my life about HVAC. I was at a webinar this week about cleaning the air. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, are you guys in? Any of you guys in HVAC here? Oh, oh okay. Well, there's a gadget now that that uh, uses ultraviolet light. You can put it on your on your. Uh, whatever you call it, your, machine, your central processing unit or something, your central unit, whatever it is. Uh, anyway, so a gift is a gift, isn't it? A gift to have touched so many lives in so many, un- I would think, unique ways, unique, unique ways. Uh, and then, um, and of course, and of course it said in the death notice, and of course a good cook. Of course, of course, a good cook was. How did, it, how did it say it? It was written so well. Whoever wrote that was a very good, very good writer, very good. Uh, uh, she was, of course, a good cook. So uh, I choose this gospel because 
because people play with that. There's two, two, two things I want to say today. First is people play with that, play, play with that. Uh, I think many of us during the pandemic have discovered a part of the simplicity of our own childhood. Uh, that maybe we can learn from Teddy a lesson today. We can have a have a lesson from him about uh, about these about these things. I think Jesus Jesus is so clear. Uh, and Mark's gospel always the clearest. We don't we only get that every few years. But but uh, and I think a person that, that was so talented as Robin was uh, had to had to play with her childhood and play with her design head and all those kind of things. So I think that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, CJ reading from the, from the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, part of us, it, the God is drawing us to himself. And then the, uh, Tom, what you read the, from, from uh, Paul to Timothy, there, we're, being, we're being drawn to God. I, I, I've, I'm thinking of, uh, I've been tr playing with reading uh, Augustine lately, and there's a new translation of the, conf the Confessions of St. Augustine out in, his, in the first chapter of the first book, very early on, for fourth paragraph maybe, <laughs> is the most famous of all the quotes of Augustine. You have made us for yourself, O Lord, in quietum est corm, corm meum, my heart is restless, in quietum jumpy, nervous, needs to, needs to take a pill, you know. Uh, and don't act requiescat in te until it rests in you. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I think what we've, during this pandemic, we've learned to be, I hope we've learned to be patient. Uh, uh, we have the, the restlessness of the human spirit uh, is really a simple, uh, a symbol of what life is really about. And, I, and from what you said and what I read in the paper, I think there was a lot of that in Robin, a lot of that uh, wanting to be like a child, restless, competent, professional, all, the, all those things. Um, and I find that God-like, too. We have to change. Uh, I read an article. I didn't read the article. I just read the headline of a journal I subscribe to, newspaper, whatever. And uh, it says, it said that we, have, we can't go back the same as we did as a church. And that's a wonderful, and unfortunately we won't have Robin to help us go back. And it's a, well, maybe we'll, well, darn it, she's already got me with the air conditioning and, and, <laughs> and uh, the other things they said, so uh, maybe we will have her. I don't think that one of the early fathers, and I never get it, I never know which one it is, one of the Eastern fathers, maybe you do know. He said, my mother, when my mother died, she was much more alive to me than when, when she was alive to me. And in one sense, uh, so the people keep popping up in our lives. Leo Tid was a member of our community, he died a few years ago, and every once in a while I still see him going around the corner in his car. <laughs> Go figure. So he's not. So I think that may be true of Robin. People that are big and big in life will be big in their death. I couldn't help but think of one. I've been reading a lot of poetry during the pandemic. I do a thing on the web page or whatever it's called, Facebook, and um, every day. And I've been uh, been reading reading a lot of poetry. And poets have a wonderful. And I've been very very, very carefully making sure I read poets that are give us something not some poets can be dark i think of ann sexton you know a good friend uh, when she was divorced she wrote a book about it oh, i don't want to read that online uh, but uh, this is a poem uh, by patrick kavanaugh one of the great the great irish poets of the 20th century uh, po i think ireland has more uh, poets per square inch than any other country per capita, but I'm going to read this as a poem about, and I love this poem so much. Um, God and woman. It mentions about convent girls, uh, Mount St. Joseph Academy, I was thinking about when I read. Now I must search. There was search. We have to search because we're restless, till I have found my God, not in an orphanage. He hides in no humanitarian disguise, a derelict upon a barren bog, but in some fantastically ordinary incog, 
behind a well-bred convent girl's eyes or wrapped in middle-class felicities among the women in a coffee shop. Surely my God is feminine. For heaven is the generous impulse, is contented with feeding praise to the good. And all of these that I have known have come from women, while, the, while men the poet's tragic light resented, the spirit that is woman caressed his soul. I think we have a lot of that to celebrate today. A lot of the, a lot of the and, and uh, John will tell us some things, remind us of some things later. But she was a great friend, a great helper, an amazing sister, as the, as the death notice said, a creative problem solver, a woman of many pens, whatever that means. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, gee. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and the other thing, irresistible too, the QVC. Oh, I like it when people, they, well, this, this is, that's, that's like the Amazon for ideas. Is that it? Yeah. I, I, have a, I, have a, I had a sister-in-law like that. She, she had just closets full of unwrapped packages, you know. <laughs> so, uh, I think we have a lot to celebrate today, except we, we, we don't celebrate our loss. We don't celebrate our pain, but we, uh, we thank God uh, for her life. It could be nicer. And pray that she will continue to live in our hearts, in our minds, in our consciences, in our laughter, in all of our, gift, all of our gifts that she shared with us. So please stand. Let us pray. May she rest in peace. We pray for God's holy people, the church today. We pray for the church throughout the world that um, the church may be a sign of welcome and peace and joy, helping people in their pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of us today assembled into worship and faith that we may be gathered together in God's kingdom which will be like a little child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Robin, receive the light of Christ, scatter the darkness now, and lead her over the waters of death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. She was nourished at your table, Lord, welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We thank you for all the many gifts that she was given in life, but she was generous in sharing uh, for the wonder of God, the generosity of God, but the generosity of Robin as well, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, we ask you to hear all our prayers today. Help us sustain us, to, uh, to, uh, help us to be sustained in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> channel of your peace where there is hatred let me bring your love where there is darkness only light and where the sadness ever joy oh father grant that i may never seek so much to be consoled to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring home. Where there is injury, your pardon. To be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is 
in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal life. Lord, receive these gifts and transform them into the body and blood of your Son, that we too may be transformed by our sharing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Almighty God, through Jesus. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned so that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of life to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made in heaven. And so with all the angels and saints and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. You are holy indeed, the fountain of all life and all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these, our gifts of bread and wine, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body broken for you. Do this in memory of me. Supper ended. Jesus took a cup of wine again. He gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to the disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you count us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the whole world. Bring us to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Michael, and all your clergy and all of your people. And remember our sister, your servant, Robin, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lonely body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To all of our departed brothers and sisters, too, and to all of those pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. When you will wipe away all the tears from our eyes, for seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good, for through him... 
And with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let's all join together and pray and join together somehow. Don't do too much. Pray the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, be done on, on earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread, bread and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as we, we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. Deliver us, we pray, O Lord, from every evil and grant us peace. Keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety so that we may discover that we are free to wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the, kingdom the, power, the power, and the glory are yours, are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your and spirit. now let us offer some sign of peace to one another. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, everybody. up for communion um, just uh, stay right there and I'll walk around if anybody's not receiving you can be seated those who are receiving can stand up uh, receive the host in your hand consume the host once the minister has moved to a different row and replace your mask immediately <laughs> okay Behold the Lamb of God, behold him. Uh, that's okay, don't take him out. He's having a good time. <laughs> See, you're like those disciples. You know? Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
gentle breeze Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee How great thou art, how great thou art Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee How great thou art Having shared the bread of life, O oh Lord, we ask that you be strengthened and that our prayers in union with Robin and for her may lead her to the gift of everlasting life with those she loved who have gone before her and with us in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated and John will give us some memories, a eulogy. On behalf of Pam, Tom, Deidre, and myself, I wish, you, I wish to thank you all for being here this morning and for all your expressions of sympathy over the past weeks. If I had to describe Robin in a sentence, I would call her the thoughtful and caring friend who seemed to know all and tried to do all. As a primary caregiver and companion to Gus DeVos for over 40 years, she coordinated all their activities, leisure, hobby, travel, medical care activities. Gus's son, Mike, and grandson, Cole, have been recipients of years of devotion and generosity. As the family historian, she traced the family lineage back to Ireland and Scotland and kept track of every living relative, including their address and occupation. She enjoyed keeping in contact with everyone, as evidenced by her extensive Christmas card list. All the trivia about living and deceased, deceased family members was stored in her mental data bank, available for immediate recollection. Whenever I had a technical question, about a computer or any electronic device. Undoubtedly, I would hear from Deidre, do you want me to call Robin? Being the typical male who never asked for directions, I would stumble for a while, curse a few times, and then call Robin for a consult. Robin's coworkers at M&E Engineering were always impressed with her skills in math her sharp mind for details, and her designing skills in the field of heating and air conditioning. Some of her projects included the remodeling of the Buffalo Airport, ECMC, Rainbow Bridge Toll Plaza, Burt Flickinger Aquatic Center, and some of the Buffalo schools. And even at Millard's Suburban Hospital only a few days ago, she looked out her window and saw the cooling towers. And she made sure that all the nurses caring for her knew that she helped get this project completed. She was very proud of her work. As a lover, lover of fishing, and after she would catch the biggest fish and we would gather uh, in my kitchen later, she would say, okay, stop. Let me show you how to fillet that fish. <laughs> Again, a woman of many talents. If there was an Olympic sport for crocheting, Robin would have won the gold medal. Our children and all her nieces and nephews were the recipients of her outstanding work. Every new baby got a handmade blanket. Even, her, even she crocheted dresses, scarves, and purses. Reaction about Robin from our children always included, 
Wow, she gives the best hugs ever. Although generous to a fault with family and friends, she rarely indulged herself. She would save a dollar wherever she could, such as buying it bulk, in bulk at BJ's or driving to Canada to find the best price. Finally, for those of us who are old enough to remember the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, we want to let everybody know how Robin was tagged with Rocky. Rocky's initials are RJS, Rocket J Squirrel, just like Robin's. And there's where it all started. Robin had a unique and immeasurable impact on all of our lives. This gift to us will always be ours to treasure. So fly high, Rocket J, and Godspeed. May we all have you as a new guardian angel. Lots of memories, huh? Thank you, John. Uh, when I was a kid, we, uh, we always went to Canada for yarn. <laughs> so that must have been why. It must have been cheaper, I guess. Oh, gee. Well, let's do that now, that little Irish thing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Please stand. A reminder that... Uh, we will not have the burial today, but in the, in the future we'll have a celebration. There will be a celebration of Robin's life uh, when we can celebrate, where we can hug and laugh and embrace and hug, hug like she was a great hugger, uh, and embrace one another. And uh, we'll have a celebration of life, and the interment will be then. And uh, also we want to say that uh, Gus is watching us with his son from Canada. We have a, whatever it is, a streaming or a streaming or whatever it's called, uh, uh, to, uh, to, so we, we send our sympathies to, uh, to Gus and his son and his grandson. <clears throat> Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Robin in the sure and certain hope that together with all those who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for all the blessings that you bestowed on her in this life. Blessings that are signs to us of your goodness, continuing a creation, our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Listen to our prayers, Lord. Turn toward us. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our sister forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham and where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you find eternal rest. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. And let, let perpetual, perpetual light shine, light shine, shine upon, upon her. her. May her soul and the soul of all God's faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Our thank you to Melissa and Mary Kate, to Mike, 
uh, to Vincent and to Matt and Bonnie who helped set up all the flowers and, uh, today. And also, just a reminder, please uh, don't linger in here. Uh, we have to we have to fumigate it or disinfect it or whatever uh, after we all leave, and uh, and if you're going to gather gather outside, it's uh, the CD. That's why we have these doors open. Uh, we try to follow all the indications of the CDC. So let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. from your sleep a new day is dawning for all those who weep the, pe the people in darkness have seen a great light the Lord our longing has conquered the night